Hi everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Claire. I'm the owner and creator behind CL Vintage Finds and today I've got another thrift with me video. I shot some footage at one of the local Salvation Army stores and I just wanted to you know record a little bit of an intro and let you all know I have been out and about all week. I've hit up Goodwills, I've hit up Salvation Army, I hit up some other thrift stores and I'm not finding anything and it wasn't easy to record either they're really busy and maybe that's why I'm not finding anything I don't know if I'm not going the right time of day I don't know what the deal is so you guys let me know if um, do you go a certain time of day um, I usually go early mornings and maybe that's it um, maybe I need to go later in the afternoon when they've got new merchandise you know out throughout the day I don't know I don't know what the deal is but I will show you this at the Salvation Army that I went to I found nothing and I um, you know I want to know do you see something that I missed would you have grabbed something definitely subscribe give me the thumbs up drop me a comment and let me know let me know when what time do you go thrifting if you're out there finding things um, I haven't found things at estate sales and it's not that the estate sales don't have nice stuff They definitely have nice stuff. I it's just not my kind of stuff. So um, Let me know. Let me know what you guys are finding drop me a comment Let me know if you see anything in this video. I hope you guys had a lovely week I hope you are having a, or will have a great weekend. Happy thrifting until next time Stay, stick around, watch the video, and uh, let me know. Hey everyone, we are at the Latham, New York. Salvation Army, and we're in the home goods section. And I'm looking high and low to see if I see anything interesting, and I just don't at this point. You guys let me know if you see something I missed and you would have grabbed. This is kind of cute little something. I don't see a price easily on it. This one for this little teapot is $2.99. I don't see a price easily on that one. It's heavy. I don't want to break it. So... I don't see anything too vintagey, but I wanted you guys to see that I am just not finding anything these days at thrift stores. 99 cents for this little thing that appears to be missing a lid. I, it's got holes in the bottom, so I'm not sure what it is. Some kind of set. Blue and white, $9.99 for the set with the scoop. A lot of like stuff like this, Phillips stuff, you know, like the Loudonville assisted living resident, a lot of stuff like that. But I don't know, um, what do you call that? Just business stuff. Look at all these mugs, Highmark, Northeastern New York, Century, Sunday Surgery, Trusco Bank. And more sun mark so a lot of things like that this is a temptations piece with its original carrier but it's really filthy so I'm not seeing anything that looks good so I wanted you to see I'm not making it up when I keep telling you like I don't want to film in thrift stores and not find anything because I just think that the videos are better when I find something cool but this is this looks like it's got some age on it $5.99 for this cookie jar I hate it when the lids are taped on like that because you can't open them well you can but um, you have to break the seal and I don't really like doing that but I know lots of other people do I'm just not one of them I mean, I just don't see really anything old. This looks like maybe it has some age on it. $3.99. Made in Taiwan. It's 
broke. It's all broken. So. So I don't see anything. Here's something that looks like maybe blue and white pieces. Oh yeah. The chipped. Lots of chips. But made in England. Microwave and dishwasher safe. So at least from the 70s. And it's $4.99. Even though it's all chipped. This looks like maybe it is a Radon, and it is $7.99, originally a TJ Maxx piece, but it's a little birdhouse, and it says fly, that's kind of cute, but not $7.99 cute in my opinion. I think that's a little high priced, even for Radon, that's collectible, it's an acorn by the way. You know. I've just been doing so much better at estate sales lately. Although not last weekend, I found pretty much nothing. It just wasn't my kind of stuff. I went to a bunch of estate sales and I just didn't find anything. Every game you could possibly think of, lots of Pictionaries. And then into the book section. So we're going to stop here and head on to the next place. Let's hope we have a little bit better luck at the next place. And we'll go from there. See you at the next one.